Greetings. We are taking a short break from the usual math Olympiad problems to explore a standard coordinate geometry problem in secondary school. In this problem, you are given the coordinates of three vertices of a triangle and you have to prove that the triangle is a right angled one. The most typical approach is to use Pythagoras theorem. You find the length of the three sides of this triangle using Pythagoras theorem, then show that AC squared plus BC squared equals to AB squared, which implies that the triangle is a right angled triangle. The important thing to note here is that the final argument doesn't use Pythagoras theorem, but it instead uses the converse of Pythagoras theorem. If Pythagoras is too difficult to spell, one could also apply a corollary of the theorem, known as the cosine rule. The cosine rule allows you to find the exact value of the angle ACB. In method 3, we find the gradient of lines BC and AC and show that the product of the gradient is negative 1. In method 4, we can construct two more right-angled triangles, CDB and AEC, and prove that these two triangles highlighted in yellow and orange are similar. Since angle BCD and DCB add up to 90 degrees, by similarity, angles ACE and DCB will also add up to 90 degrees. As the sum of angles on a straight line is 180, this must mean that angle BCA has to be 90 degrees too. There are more complicated methods, such as this one taught in junior college, using the dot product of two vectors, but I will skip this argument. You can also use a variety of approaches that make use of the area of the triangle, like the shoelace method, or the trigonometric uh, approach using half a b sine c and through comparison of these various approaches to find the areas you can conclude that angle acb will be 90 degrees however the method that i like the most is to really think out of the box but in this case to think out of the triangle and that is to construct a circle with diameter AB. You can find the midpoint of AB and the radius of this circle. This allows you to construct the equation of the circle and prove that point C lies on that equation. From circle properties, we know that any angle subtended from the diameter has to be a right-angled triangle. I hope that in sharing these seven approaches to tackle a relatively common problem, including that last more convoluted approach, has helped you see the interconnectivity of the various topics in mathematics. And this will hopefully help you try to think out of the box when you attempt your regular homework. Thank you and have a good day of learning.